What's going on everybody? Rob here, aka Trev2323. I'm going to go ahead and test the cells right here that I got here. I got the uh, these chem packs, okay? And I got them, seven of them right here. Uh, I'm going to put 14 of them, but I'm going to put, probably put them on top of each other. I just put these on here to hold them to carry them up here. Uh, I got one as gonna be the main negative. So I got a wire hooked up that already. I got a BMS coming and I'm actually Making these right here because they fit perfectly Let's See if I get that down there. They fit perfectly Going across right here Okay, so all these are I made a whole bunch of them Okay, these are these right here I took the yellow part off, I soldered them together, and they fit perfectly as bars from one to the other. So I am going to run them in uh, in series. So right here, put this on volts right here. Yeah, let me see, make sure you can see it. I'm going to test the first seven cells right here. Just try to make it where you can see when me testing the cells. Instead of me just testing the cells. All right, try to get it. All right, better? Better. Get it? Got it? Good. All right, first cell. Here's the negative, and here's the positive. What are we looking at? 3.77. Okay, the next cell, I got to flip the wires around. Next cell. This one, second cell down. Second cell down. 3.77. Almost perfect. Next cell down, third one down, third one down, 3.77, perfect. Fourth one down, next cell, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four down, 3.778, uh, five down, one, two, three, four, five down, one, two, three, four, five down. 3.77 next cell from the bottom second from the bottom 3.77 and the seventh cell in this series right here 3.77 3.76 3 3.77 so i checked this it's on 20 volts uh these are seven cells right here seven cells and you see how I got them set up because I'm going to run them in series. I'm probably going to change it and put all 14 of them here. But like I says, I ran. I made these little bus bars right here. I had extra like 50. These are good up to 50 amps. So this right here together, I'm not an expert. Don't rely on everything I'm saying here. But I believe this right here when I'm done is going to be 62 amps. Because uh, well, the system I'm running is a 3000 watt system. So I think it's going to be trying to draw again i'm not perfect just work with me here i actually asked what size main negative should be coming out and what size main main positive these are 10 gauge that i have hooked up right here but i think i'm going to purchase some 8 gauge wire to do come out with 8 gauge and tomorrow my bms will come in i'm monitoring my power usage on the tanks that i'm be using this for and those are uh uh, I got a kilowatt meter on there, so we're gonna see how much power I'm gonna need. So I'm testing the first seven cells, and this was the first seven cells tested of these LG chem packs. Perfectly balanced already as it is. That's pretty awesome, but I do got a BMS coming in tomorrow. I wanted to be jump the gun and start connecting these in series right now. But I know I'm gonna have to make some more rings because the BMS is also gonna have to be hooked to the positive of these. All right. All right, so I got them wired in series. Now you see the main negatives on the bottom. That's why I put that there. I'm going to put a bigger one, but I just put it there so I can know the main negative. Then they're wired in series with these little bus bars that I made right here. These little bus bars I made out of here. And then they're wired in series. So this is the positive on this side. See, there's three on this side in series. And then there's, uh, what, there's three and three. Is it three and three? Yeah, three and three. So this is the negative. And then this is the positive. They have it on the top. But what I want to show you now is this because I'm going to put this on the... All right, so this is the negative over here on the bottom. I know this is the negative right here. And then on the top over here is the positive. All right? I thought I messed it up, but I didn't. So 
in series i'm hitting 26.4 volts all right alexa what's 3.7 times 7. 3.7 times 7 is 25.9. So we're hitting a little bit over the voltage of what we should be hitting with these in series. All right, but I'm, I'm going to leave this like this. I got another 7 that I got to do like this. So 26 and 26, it's going to be, what is that? That's 52. So this is a 48 volt battery. So it's, it's I mean, it's, it's spot on perfect. Now I got a BMS coming in tomorrow, but instead of taking all these off, I'm thinking I'm just going to buy the little H and unscrew it and put the H in all the positive because the H got to go on the positive of all the batteries. So here's the positive battery right here. This is the positive side. So the H is going to go on this side, this side. This side right here will be to the BMS. Uh, lefty right here. This side right here will be to the BMS. It's only the positive sides of the battery. So I got to figure this one out too. I'll do that tomorrow. Either way, I wanted to show you the voltage of these batteries I got from battery hookup. This is them right here. And this is them in series, and I'm getting the proper voltage that I need to be getting. We got a whole solar power grid system, a 3000 watt 48 volt one. Stay tuned, follow, subscribe, like, share.